Friday and you're welcome to Let's Talk Showbiz here on Joy News on Multi TV. And this weekend is quite packed. I'll give you some of the details of where to be this weekend. Maybe you could go for the Amy's. Maybe you could go for a, a movie or movie premiere. There's a movie premiere to tonight. You could go for a music video premiere as well. I mean, quite a number of events this weekend. I'll share with you here on the show. But um, we'll start with Joe Metal. We'll talk about Afcorn and then Calibos right here on the show. My name is Doreen Avi and the show is Let's Talk Showbiz. If you're just tuning in, this is Let's Talk Showbiz and we are starting with gospel artist Joe Metal. So Joe Metal and his partners have announced the 8th edition of Praise Reloaded dubbed Hmm, wind of revival and this event is set to take place on the 30th of june at paris dome now they announced that aside your metal being the headline act for this event um there will also be other gospel musicians who will support him here's more on joe metal i think the the, the, the beginning was difficult very difficult but as time went by um it became more of um, an experience for me not that i'm experienced in it now and that's why, but then the fact that um, sometimes I don't even see it as a live recording. I still look at it as like a worship service. And for me, one of the main reasons why we do live recordings is to capture the atmosphere. So if I, I become too strict and too straight, then I don't get that atmosphere that I want. And so it's become more of like a, a, a flow for me rather than um, um, like a, a, a rigid kind of recording. Um, even though it's, it's more expensive. So live recordings are more expensive than when you just go to the studio and then put something together. And so that's probably maybe the difficulty, but God has always been faithful to us. Yeah. See Jonathan Nelson on the, on the, at the background here. He's geared up for this edition. Why Jonathan Nelson? Um, Jonathan Nelson because I think he carries um, a grace that is able to interpret the kind of theme and direction that we're, he's a worship leader, he's, he's, he's anointed, he has what it takes to um, lead the people of God in worship and another thing. And that's why we chose him. Um, Jonathan and I have been friends for a couple of years. I've never even had the opportunity. And this year when we got the theme, uh, God laid on my spirit that this time for now for us to bring him in. That's, that's the reason. Surprised there, but surprised. you can be very like surprised. You can be surprised in the way you know you be surprised. Never, but maybe the, because they wanted a, maybe a security. Oh, it's waste of money. It's, area. it's waste of money, but you know because we are not talking about that one. Let's talk about our problem. Probably as <laughs> um, you know. Most of them are my friends. Like Asamoah, yeah, you know, I, I, I was, was dancing to Dondo. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was, yeah, I, so. I was going to ask you. You know, uh, Kwesi Apia, he has selected his twenty-three man squad. Yeah. I wanted to ask you whether you have your favorites in the, you know, who um, plays it better for um, you. So far, my favorite Ghanaian player is Party. Thomas Party. Yeah. Is he part? I, I'm uh, not sure. Sconti, is he part of the 23 uh, man squad? I think so. Party. Th yeah, oh, okay. party has to be part. You know. Oh, so, okay. you know, I'm wishing them well. You know, I wish I some one more goals. Score and dance, don't do. He's the general you know, captain. Score and dance, don't do to the world. Right? Yeah. Okay. You know, so you're I'm introducing don't do to them. I mean, I mean, all of yeah, them. Yeah. Once I some one dance, don't do. You know, he he was like the second person to challenge me on the don't do dance. Okay. Yeah, so I'm sure when he scores a goal in, in, in Egypt, Dondo will be the ish. What they are saying. All right, so that was Kwakese and Langabel on AFCON. So I'm sure when it's time, we'll all be seated by our television since we are all not in Egypt so that we can witness what is happening over there. And now let's move straight to Calibur. So. I guess Calibos is probably a rich man by now. <laughs> well, he has been named an ambassador for a game app. Our cameras were there, and uh, well, let's hear Calibos talking more about the app.
countries such as Egypt, South Africa, Kenya, and Rwanda. As we say in Gedit, games are more fun when it means real prices. I'm also pleased to announce that Gedit, last year's shareholder and a brand ambassador, Richard Asante, as are known as for very own Calibos. Um, with the board, my management, um, we would like to thank you all for honoring this uh, noble invitation. <laughs> and I quite remember he came down, we spoke about this. He was so passionate about it, um, trying to get an app, trying to get uh, a company that's not normally known in, let me just say Africa, but it's uh, popularly known in uh, the Western country, to bring it down to Ghana, to make it our own, and to get the people to also buy into the idea. Uh, from one set, I bought into the idea, I was so into it, I, I wanted to see how you get this done in Ghana. And lo and behold, he, he, he got it, and uh, now it's Get It, and it's in Ghana. A big round of applause to the CEO of Get It Ghana, Jeff Takwa. Yes, um, um, to my part in Get It, um, um, I'm really passionate about getting into a business. And I'm, I'm going to talk about this in, uh, let me just say, my industry people point of view, the actors, uh, the industry players. Most of the times we get companies that come in to just sign us and uh, you, you get the money you've been signed for and that's it. You don't, you don't play a major role when it has to do with your stakes, when it has to do with the shareholdings, when it has to do with whatever you think you can put yourself in, which can also uh, facilitate a, a good future for, for you and every business you put yourself into. So uh, from all sets, when we discussed about Get It, I, I, I felt it's time I have to put myself into it. Okay, so that was Calibos there talking more about the app. And so before I wrap up, I would like to tell you some of the few things to check out this weekend. It's going to be um, a great weekend with lots of events. We can talk about the exclusive Men of the Year Awards, which will take place tomorrow. It's going to be live on Joy Prime, though. So you might want to catch a glimpse of it. And... Uh, well, congratulations in advance to all winners on the night. There's also going to be a video premiere on Sunday for um, DKB and Rush. And uh, well, we'll be there to also bring you updates on that as well. I know I have a birthday party of one special celebrity. I can't tell you because it's strictly by invitation. And then there's also some fashion event this evening. So um, you might not want to miss out on great entertainment stuff this weekend so this is where i will wrap it all up on let's talk showbiz it's a friday let's make the best out of it and of course the weekend on twitter i'm doreen avian on instagram it's doreen underscore avian remember to log on to myjoyonline.com the entertainment page for more of our stories do have a wonderful evening mm -hmm.